Hi all, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In the previous video, we learned the working of an auto key cipher. In this video, we will cover an example of auto key cipher. So let's get started. So here, the example is encrypt the message attack using auto key cipher with k1 as 12 and again retrieve the plain text from the cipher text. Let's solve this example. So here, the plain text is hello, the value of k1 is 12, and the encryption algorithm we use is ci equal to pi plus ki mod 26. Let's construct a table to get a cipher text. The first row of the table is pi, that is a plain text characters. So we have a, t, t, a, c, and k. The next row is value of pi, that is the numerical value of each of the above characters. Let's call a mapping table back for a reference. So the value of a is 0, t is 19, again we have t, so 19. Again we have a, so again 0, the value of c is 2, and value of k is 10. The next row is ki, that is a key stream. We have learned in the previous video that in an auto key cipher, the first bit is k1 followed by the characters of the plain text. So let's construct the key stream here. Here the value of k1 is 12, so the first value of ki is 12. Then we follow it by the characters of the plain text. So we have 0, so we input 0 here. Then we have 19, so we input 19. Again we have 19, so I input 19 here. Followed by 0 and followed by 2. In this way we constructed the key stream. The next step is the encryption step, that is pi plus ki mod 26. So 0 plus 12 gives us 12 and 12 mod 26 is 12. Then we have 19 plus 0 which gives us 19, 19 mod 26 gives us 19. Then 19 plus 19 gives us 38 and 38 mod 26 gives us 12. Then we have 0 plus 19 which is 19 and 19 mod 26 we have 19. Then we have 2 plus 0 which is 2, 2 mod 26 is 2 and 10 plus 2 which is 12, 12 mod 26 is 12. And in the final step we have the cipher text. So your 12 represents M, 19 represents T, again we have 12, so it is M, 19 which is T, 2 that is C, and 12 it is M. So the final cipher text is MTMTCM. This was the encryption process. Now let's do the decryption. So here we have the cipher text as MTMTCM. The key stream is 12 0 19 19 0 2 and the decryption algorithm we are using is pi equal to ci minus ki mod 26. Let's construct a table to retrieve the plain text. So the first row of the table is the value of ci. So we have m, t, m, t, c, m. The next row is the value of ci. Let's call a mapping table back for a reference. So here the value of m is 12, value of t is 19. Again we have m which is 12, t which is 19, c is 2, and m as 12. The next row is a key stream. So we have 12, 0, 19, 19, 0, and 2. Remember from the previous video, Alice and Bob both have the key stream which is shared via a secure key exchange channel. So Bob also has the key stream for decryption. Coming back to the topic. The next row is the decryption step, that is ci minus ki mod 26. So we have 12 minus 12 which gives us 0, so 0 mod 26 is 0, 19 minus 0 is 19 which gives us 19, 12 minus 19 gives us minus 7 and minus 7 mod 26 gives us 19, 19 minus 19 gives us 0, 2 minus 0 gives us 2 and then 2 mod 26 gives us 2. 12 minus 2 is 10 and 10 mod 26 is 10. And finally we retrieve our plain text that is pi. So using the reference table 0 is a, 19 is t, again we have 19 so t, again 0 refers to a, 2 refers to c and 10 refers to k. So we have successfully retrieved our plain text that is attack. So in this way we perform encryption and decryption in an autokey cipher and with this we have covered the autokey cipher. In the next video we will start with a new cipher that is playfair cipher. 
So that's it for the video guys. Thanks for watching the video and if you have any doubts, please do let us know in the comment section below and if you have found the video helpful, then do like and share the video with your friends and subscribe to be the best channel for more such videos. Meet you in the next video of the CSS series. Bye bye.